This is what I call glamping on wheels. What else do you want? Look at where we are. convinced we're gonna be fine an SOS save our souls This trip is coming together. I've got my friend Amy along. We're heading to Morton Island for the next four days, three nights of island tropical paradise. <laughs> I've never been to Morton before, have you? Yeah, a few times. It's gonna be good. Awesome, you're gonna be my tour guide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> finally, this trip's come together. Lockdowns, organization, it's finally working out for us. And look at the beast we've got. Let's get to it. Ah, the barge is going. Go. <laughs> found a epic spot. So it's currently day one of school holidays here in Queensland. So my plan of attack is we've got a marquee. We're going to claim our area yes. for the next few <laughs> days. We're not changing locations, which I'm a little we've bit- We've got a good spot. <laughs> yes, we do. Beach is right there. So we're gonna just set up camp. It's currently like 7 a.m. We woke up at 3 a.m. this morning. <laughs> It's a, bit, it's a bit of a rough morning. Yes. So we're just going to have some coffees, chill here for a little while, and then our plan of attack today is to head down the southwest side. like here it is this is Russell the gladiator from Overlander Adventures and let me tell you it's got me convinced on Jeeps I am a Toyota girl at heart but I absolutely love driving this big rig I've taken him to Double Island and it was an absolute dream to drive uh, the Jeep gladiators are 3.6 litre v6 petrol engines they're also eight-speed automatic uh, front and rear diff lockers uh, Russell has got a double rooftop setup as well as a Alucarb custom made canopy. Uh, we've got absolute luxury. This is what I call glamping on wheels. Uh, 75 litre Dometic uh, fridge freezer, dual uh, drawer system, um, battery system at the back, 50 litre water tank, max tracks. What else do you want? Look at where we are. Can't wait to take this around Morton Island. Uh, and so Morton Island is 
all sand. There is no bitumen on Morton, uh, unlike Stradbroke. There's a lot of off-roading, but the tracks are nice, uh, and this ha this car handles the sand like a dream. It's so easy to drive. Uh, inside the Jeep Gladiators, it has amazing capability, all built in. Uh, they've got an off-road plus sway bars and front and rear diff lockers. So even if you do get stuck, you'll be able to get out. Three hours each yeah. side of the tide. Yeah, so the website says two hours plus add, like either side of the tide, plus add half an hour for um, the wreck side of the island, which is the side we're camping on. Yeah. But yeah, based on our experience, we say an extra half an hour to that. So let's make it four hours. Let's say a three hour, three hour either side of the Not tide, don't four travel. Hours. <laughs> well, I reckon we're safe up here. There's some vegetation, which means that the ocean hasn't really come up. Yeah, the, the sand's dry as, so I'm convinced we're going to be fine. Beachfront resort. Yeah, That's exactly. what we've got. <laughs> <laughs> we got this, babe. We got this. Well, we may be stranded, but we've got the goods. Cheers. <laughs> As you can see, we are in a different camp spot. Uh, about 10.30 last night, the tides went down enough that we could make it back up the beach very safely and to our original camp spot, which isn't too shabby at all. We're just uh, south of the Tangaluma Rex, so that's our plan of attack today. We're gonna go have a snorkel, maybe see some turtles, some fish. Sounds, good. Sounds great. Checking out the wrecks is a must-do when visiting Morton Island. The Tangaluma Rex is a cluster of ships scuttled by the Queensland Government in the 60s to provide a safe anchorage spot for recreational boat owners. Coral is now starting to form in and around the wrecks, providing a haven for over 100 fish species. And sometimes even dolphins will be gongs, dugongs, or a leopard shark visitor like we got to see. Come say hello. Depth of the water ranges from about 16 to 27 metres. However, some of the wrecks are only about 12 metres down. We went on low tide, so they were even more shallow. Home sweet home. Sure <laughs> is. We are back at camp. The tide's come up. We've made it today. Hey Amy, guess what? What? 
We're back at Camp A. <laughs> we got the tides right. Um, well, I think we'll just set up for the afternoon. Double rooftops tonight. We don't need to move. Oh, sounds magic. I might even pull out the rod and have a little fish. part one of this adventure join me amy and sky next week for part two here's some of the fun we got up to hope you like this vlog don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment and i'll see you on the next adventure